I'm uh, Tony Gerber and I'm from Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, actually in Helsinki right now, uh, here doing a concert last night and my friends uh, from the Pavilion Project met me here to see the show, see a live concert and uh, I've met them for the first time. contact from uh, from Richard and uh, informing me that they had been working on a video game uh, and had been using some of my music as part of uh, kind of the background to creating art and doing some of the, the coding I think with uh, Henrik, the, uh, his partner. Yeah. We ended up Skyping and they filled me in on uh, uh, this unusual game concept of yeah. uh, kind of this fourth person, uh, kind of a spiritual contemplative puzzle kind of game. Yeah. And um, which seemed like a good concept for my music just to hear the concept. So. music was something that really inspired us you know from the early days of pavilion and now right you know it, it seems like a like a perfect fit you know for this you know a lot of the the puzzle uh, elements are like happening in your head so the music is really like helping you to kind of get into a, a certain mindset when you you play the game and that's yeah that's been great. Lots of times uh, it has to do with a, a new sound, um, creating a new type of a sound on a synthesizer and, um, you know, or even a new instrument. I mean, w one of the things for me as a multi-instrumentalist is if I get tired of, if I get kind of tired of one instrument, I can move over to a different instrument and get fresh inspiration. Um, almost like... Uh, you know, I also I also write words and I also uh, paint sometimes and several creative processes. And I mean, you might have experienced this, but sometimes you get you kind of get dried out with a certain, you know, like I might not be able to write words. I'm I'm just searching for, and so then I might like go paint for a while, mm -hmm. you know, or I might pick up a guitar or I might play the piano. I kind of and. And it helps keep uh, the creative process fresh yeah. for me. So if, if I'm looking at the music, it's a similar thing in that I have different instruments that I can uh, pick up and play. And if, if I'm not being inspired with one, I can go to another one. And lots of times that's the catalyst or the starting point, you know, of a piece of music. I usually um, try to be guided more by thoughts than by actual like sketches. Of course, when we're making the game, uh, we have to do level design, and that is like a like a blueprint for for uh, how things need to be. You know, we can't really go up. Right. You know, that's there's certain guidelines. Yeah. yeah. So that's kind of the craft. But other than that, I like to just try to see where uh, the image leads me. You know see if you know not have too everything too strict in the beginning just right. try to and in that way it is very similar yeah so. and that makes it more the process more interesting too it's almost like you're you're exploring your own work yeah when you're going absolutely yeah. that's very similar <laughs> 